All right, next news. Muslim discovers Pret, Pret sandwich. Is that how you said? He's, he's been eating for 12 years. Isn't halal. Oh no, what a tragedy. Uh, so who's this? This is, where is this? This is in the UK? Yes, London. Yeah, uh, this is in London. Yeah. Uh, Khalid Qadir has been eating his lunch at Pret uh, for the p uh, past 12 years and his go-to sandwich is tuna mayo baguette. He never imagined it was made with anything more than tuna, mayonnaise and some slices of cucumber until he noticed a new ingredient labeled on the sandwich wrapper a few weeks ago. Uh, the the tax advisor, why? Just, oh, so Khalid is the tax advisor. Why would that be included? So he discovered white wine vinegar was a listed ingredient which he believes is not halal and goes against his religious beliefs. He complained to the manager <laughs> of his local store and the matter was eventually escalated to Pret CEO. Wow. Okay, that's the serious. Wait, this don't all so what was in the sandwich? Uh tuna. Yeah, slices of cucumber. Don't don't all uh fruit and you know Cucumber and some other veggies come up with come with a little some percentage of alcohol naturally in them. Just a very small percentage, isn't that just with everything? Yeah, many many fruits have alcohols, like percentages of alcohol. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, it's really low, but they do have some. Well, this guy first of all doesn't know his Islam right because they can't. Once this was discovered the uh, mullahs and imams and whatever the religious leaders they came like okay well, well that small percentage is okay doesn't matter that's halal so this guy is getting angry over nothing right um but second of all the the escalated the ceo how how likely it is that if somebody else had complained to this and this was not an islamic thing it would have gotten this high right like if somebody was making a stupid complaint about the ingredients I mean, I think the reason why it wasn't included before is probably because it's such a small percentage that it comes with just every fruit, right? You can't, you know, uh, but I bet you like people would just laugh and dismiss this if this guy was not a Muslim guy and, you know, in the UK and we and we'll compare, oh, this goes against my religion, right? It's, it's only the fear of like, oh, if we ignore this guy, we're going to be Islamophobes, aren't we? This is why it goes all the like such a stupid complaint makes it all the way up to the CEO. This is religious privilege, right? You just could complain about anything and people are like, yeah, whatever, are like, well, I'm a Muslim and this is offensive and goes against my religion. Well, hold on then. Let me get the CEO of the company on the phone with you. All right, so like, please, please don't accuse us of, of Islamophobia. This is going to destroy our reputation. Please, what do you want? Just tell us. Tell us how to appease you. Um, what the talk? What do you uh, think, Shipa? Yeah. Uh, the the company actually said that uh, people with picky eating habits should have checked their website. They always urge their customers to check the website because every ingredient is listed there. Right. And even that alcohol content was supposed to be less than uh, that in orange juice. <laughs> less than orange juice. Yeah, wow. That in orange juice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's absolutely stupid. And this uh, Khalid is saying like, uh, doesn't matter if it's one percent or zero point one percent. It it is like allergy to him, and he has no tolerance for alcohol. Uh, what I think is like, okay, he went 12 years without noticing his allergies. <laughs> yeah. No, he's, he's saying like, oh, yeah, no, actually, so your point is very good because he, he's saying like, listen, for us Muslim, alcohol is like, you have to treat it like somebody who has allergy to peanuts. And the way you treat peanuts with somebody who has allergy to peanuts, you have to treat alcohol like that to Muslims, right? But the fact, the fact that he went eating this for 12 years, I had no problem. Is there exactly the reason why we don't treat it like allergy, right? 
Um, but another thing is that this guy so should stay away from fruits in general and vegetables, right? Based on because they all come with a small percentage of alcohol, so just stop touching. Um, and in this case, okay. Steph is saying, "Oh my God, if your personal dietary requirements are so specific, pack a lunch." Catherine saying, "If you have any dietary re restriction, it is one hundred percent your responsibility to find out what's in your." own meal some people want hand holding through life uh, as their mommy and daddy did it all through childhood well this one is not mommy and daddy this one is just sky daddy um but yeah i mean this is this is just people using i think especially in the uk right in the uk you could just claim religious privileges all the time um uh, so and it works unfortunately in the uk it works Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.